Hi guys. Oh. Hi guys, welcome back to Lost the Library. My name is Kate. Today I am doing my favorite video to do. It is my December TBR, which is playing Book Up Boy. <laughs> so last month I read I actually had a decent reading month, but I only read five of my um books that I was supposed to read. And I substituted two of them because uh, my DC Universe messed up. So I had to read two different comics <laughs> than my DC Universe and get them elsewhere. But that was fine. I read, for those two, I was supposed to read Arkham Reborn and Arkham City. Um, but I substituted them for Raven by Kami Garcia and um, Miles Behind Us. But, uh, which is the second volume in the Walking Dead comics. Um, and then I read Skipping Christmas by John Grisham. I read The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. I read... That's four. What was the other one that I read? Oh my gosh. I am blanking. Oh, One by One by Ruth Ware. Um, I did not read Book of Two Ways. Well, I read a good portion of it, but didn't finish it. Ninth House... Also read a good portion of it, didn't finish it, and um, uh, if we were villains, I didn't even start if we were villains. So <sighs> that means I have three extra rolls this month. So let's just see what Bookopoly has in store for us. Let's get to it. All right, roll number one, seven. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Most urgent, purchase or acquired. Okay, so the first prompt was roll that we got was to read my most recent purchase. My most recent purchase was my book of the month um, box that I bought. Um, and it had two bo books in it. And the first one being In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. This was my choice of the books for the month. Um... I'm doing a book club thing where we are, it's like a holiday nice thing, uh, naughty and nice, we're reading, we got a bunch of prompts to read, so this is one of the choices, like the group book kind of things, um, so yeah, I'm really excited to read about, read this one, because I know everybody's reading it this month, so, and holidays, but Christina Lauren, next one. Well, number two. Eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Horror. Number two brought us to horror. And for this one, I'm going to read Home of Fort Art by Riley Sayer. For my prompt in my book club thing, um, this is going to be for a 2020 release. No. No, this is recommended by a friend. This one's recommended by a friend. I have a different one on here. Um, I'm really, really excited about this. Uh, I read Final Girls by Riley Sager and enjoyed it. And this one's about a haunted house. Maybe haunted house, maybe not. I'm just excited to read it because oh, I'm just excited. I love haunted house stories. So oh, I'm going to get to this one very, very soon, if possible. All right. Roll number three was four, six, ten. So one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A sci-fi. Our next roll landed us on sci-fi, and for this one, I'm going to read Dream Daughter, um, by I blanked on the name and I didn't write the name. Diane Chamberlain. Ha <laughs> ha. That came, name just came to me. Um, so this is a historical fiction with a science fiction twist. Um, I believe there's time travel from what I read of the synopsis. There's a time travel element to it, um, which is very exciting. I'm excited to read it. For this one, it's a recommend one of the team leaders' favorite books. So somebody loved it, and it was like one of the only sci-fi's on that list. So four, 
four. So one, two, three, four. Hey, we get one last roll this month. Awesome. So let's roll again to get book four. Ooh, I got scared for a second. It's 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. A comic book. And then we got. We landed on the minus one roll. Wow. Look at us. We're already off to a great start. So I'm only doing seven. I only have to read seven books this month. And then we rolled again, and we landed on comic book. And for this one, I'm going to read Beast Boy by Kimi Garcia, and illustrations done by Gabriel Piccolo. Um, ah, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I'm reading this for the prompt to read a graphic novel. And oh my gosh, I'm very, 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 very excited about this. Um, I loved Raven, and I just... I read this so bad. And then they have a new one coming out next year called Ra uh, Beast Boy Loves Raven. And I love, oh, I love this couple in Titans. And I just love, oh, I just think they're so cute. And I'm just so excited. My favorite supervillain ran randomly showed up in the last one. I was like, wait a second. Hold up. I didn't know you were in this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm just so excited. But you can't have Teen Titans without my favorite super vi villain. You just can't. There's just no way around it. I'm just so excited. I don't know if he's going to randomly show up in this one too. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, and to be honest. Uh, so. Yeah. I'm just so excited to read this. I'm gonna read this very, very soon. I love Beast Boy. Um, I have met the voice actor who voices him in a lot of the animation of recent years. Um, if you've watched the original Teen Titans, or even if you watch Teen Titans Go, um, or even Young Justice, he's also voices him in uh, Young Justice as well. His name is Greg Sipes. He follows me on Twitter. <laughs> I just, I met him in real life. He's such a nice guy, and I love him so much. Okay? Leave me alone. I've also met Cory Payton, who voices Cyborg um, in the original Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go, and um, voices Aqualad? Aqualad in Young Justice. So, he doesn't follow me on Twitter. It's a shame. It's a shame Cory Payton does not follow me on Twitter. One of these days, I will get Kari Payton to follow me on Twitter. One of these days. Okay. Next roll. <laughs> He's over there. Okay. Roll number five is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, most recent purchase or... And the next one is also another most recent purchase. And this is going to be my other book that I got in the book of the month box. And that's Mexican Gothic by Sylvia. I am blanking. I think it's something Garcia. I forgot the middle name. Sylvia Marie. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm just like so hyper and like so excited about everything I'm reading this month. I'm so excited. Um... So, this is a, another, I think, haunted house story. I'm in the mood for these haunted house stories, okay? I love me a good haunted house story. I need it in my life. I'm just saying. Um, so, this is going to be my 2020 release uh, book. So, I'm just, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped, guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so... That's all I know about it. I think it's also set in Mexico. So, diversity as well. Look at it. Alright, next. Number six. Six. One, two, four, five, six. A library book. And then roll number six landed us on library book. And for this one, I'm going to read Green Glass House. Um... I was meant, to, I wanted to read this for
for Believeathon, but I didn't, so I'm just pushing it to December and putting it on my TBR. So this is a mystery um, set around Christmas time. Um, it's the cover is also gorgeous. There's a lot of snow on it. Um, for this one, it's to read. My prompt was to read a wintry or holiday themed book, and this is from the cover. It's a very very wintry kind of book, I assume. So, moving on, last roll. Hopefully, will hopefully be will hopefully be our last roll. Nine. One, two, three, four, five. Wait. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And audio or ebook. And thankfully, we got our last roll and we landed on ebook or audio book. And I chose World War Z. Um, I don't remember who it's by. That's huh. It's <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so gross. Oh. Oh, I just had a sneeze. Okay. And for our last roll, I landed on audio or ebook, and I have chosen World War Z. I don't remember what this is about, but this is a zombie apocalypse story. I love zombie apocalypse stories. And this is for a buddy read. People are buddy reading it in December. I'm very excited. Um, I was just like, I've been wanting to read this for so long, and now I am. And I'm going to get it off of Libby and read it, um, probably as an ebook, because I don't particularly like audiobooks. So, these are the two books I own physically, but I will be getting two more um, in the month. I'll be getting. Um, and a holidays and Mexican Gothic as physically, so, but, yeah, I mean, it's definitely doable, I think, but I keep saying that, and I don't read when I'm supposed to read. Um, on top of these seven, I also need to read, um, the Serpent Shadow, which is the third and last book in the Crane Chronicles series. And I also need to read the first book in the Trials of Apollo series. We changed around, and we're going to read the Trials of Apollo next instead of Magnus Chase. So, I'm going to read, I think it's the Hidden Oracle is the next one to be read. So, yeah. So, I have like nine books I need to read this month. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next